<laughs> Yo, welcome guys. So as promised, I want to share all the results from my Hydra testing on the PTR server. And I have come up with um, one build in particular, which I think is not like a really, really strong end game pit pushing build. But it's really good and a lot of fun for like world tier 4 pushing. And if they are fixing a couple of things, which I'm pretty certain they are, this build can actually still scale really high. And yeah, let me show you a bit on how the gear looks, how the skill tree looks, how the paragon looks, what is what certain things there are. And then in the end, we also have some gameplay on me finishing a 105 pit with the build itself. Um, maybe one thing in the gameplay itself i do have really bad gear because i do not have like unlimited time to test on the ptr so take it with a grain of salt 105 pit is definitely not the max you can go way higher so the whole build is um, evolving around um, two new tempers one being that you can get additional hydra heads onto your weapons if you are getting a max temper roll and a max master working onto that you will actually be able to get um, six Hydra heads here per weapon. So 12 additional Hydra heads in total. And the other one that we are playing around is the tempering Hydra lucky hit chance is being increased. The uh, We're going to talk later about um, a bug evolving this, but this is the build. And we are stacking that lucky hit chance to cover one of the weaknesses of the build. And that is AOE damage. Because Hydras have really high single target damage, but no AoE damage. So we need to find a way of introducing AoE damage into that build. And that way is actually Andariel's Visage. Because this is giving us the lucky hit chance to trigger a poison area effect. And that poison damage in the area um, allows us to stack the monsters um, with AoE damage. Then... We do need um, also vulnerability and CC, and we are able to do that with a lucky hit as well if we are using the Frost Nova enchantment. So we are having the option that our conjurations are casting Frost Nova, CCing and making the enemies vulnerable, and then stacking the Andariel's Visage AoE damage on top. Um, alongside of the, so that build works, we do need tankiness and we are achieving that um, with the ice armor if we are looking at the pants for example we are having ice armor duration on there and if we are putting five points into ice armor and getting that ice armor duration with a decent cooldown in our build cooldown reduction we will be able to keep up the ice armor almost all the time then additionally we need more toughness so we are going for a Tyrael's Might, which will allow us to increase the maximum resistances to all elements of up to 15%, which is an effective 50% damage reduction against um, the elements of the um, like elite packs and all of that, like the really dangerous stuff. So this is huge. And another thing that's important to note, we are at full life all the time, so the passive of the uh, barrage is basically almost procable because we are living and sustaining with our barriers. So our life is barely getting touched. And um, also, all the hydras that are lining up in a circle are actually shooting the damage from the barrage into the middle. So if you drop the hydras exactly around a boss or an elite, all the barrages will go into the middle and hit the enemy. Here we are just having a scaling with barrier because we have barrier all up basically all the time. Here we are having 25% damage reduction whenever we are casting a conjuration. This allows us um, to basically non-stop cast Hydra and keeping that 25% damage reduction up also non-stop. Another thing that we are using to get a bit more damage out are the new Rakanov's boots. Because whenever we are casting a skill with cooldown, we are also dealing fire damage. And with our fire shield and our um, ice armor, we are able to stand in the enemies. And we are actually getting another ability to deal AoE damage with this um, boots right here. Then on the um, weapon, we are just having one additional Hydra. This will allow us to spawn three Hydras instead of two. Then on the amulet, 
we are having the aspect of engulfing flames. This gives us a multiplier to burning damage. But like the most important part is that um, we have to get the enemies below 50% life. And once we are achieved that goal, then this aspect will basically make it so our burn damage is killing the, um, the rest of the elite packs and we can already move on to the next pack. Then on the ring, we are having Storm Swell with the 1.3 multiplier. Was one of the best uh, multipliers the um, Sorcerer has as a normal um, legendary that, that you can put on. And of course, we are having the Tarasha Irisident loop. And a nice side effect is here. We need three kinds of damage. We are having Teleport for Electric. Then we are having Burn, Easy Roller Hydra. We are having cold damage from our Ice Blades. And we are getting our fourth source to poison damage directly from the Andariel's Visage. So we do not have to waste a temper on one of our weapons to get a lucky hit on that damage. And then on the offhand, we are having running the Battlecaster aspect. Because um, this will allow us again with the lucky hit chance to stack additional ranks onto our Conjuration skills. And will allow us to... Uh, um, to deal more damage with the Hydra and get a more cooldown reduction onto our whole build with the Ice Blades. And the cooldown reduction from the Ice Blades is essential, because this cooldown reduction from the Ice Blades paired with the enchantment that for every 40 seconds in cooldowns, we are spawning another Ice Blade, will allow us to, um, to almost have Inferno ready for multiple users at like um, packs and always be able to group. And another thing that helps us is the tempering Inferno cooldown reduction on the ring. This is also the reason why we cannot wear like a Starlet Skies ring, for example. We do need to have that temper 100%. When we are looking at what we should want to, to hit, um, like majority is like Conjuration Mastery, because Conjuration Mastery is giving us a, um, a boost, not only to our mana region, also our damage and movement speed, so, and we will be able to spawn multiple conjurations at a really, at a really fast pace, because um, we are getting instantly free conjurations from Hydra at the spot, and then we are spawning all those ice plates with our low cooldown reduction. So, whenever we have the ability to roll cooldown reduction, we will most likely use it. Then attack speed is um, another way that you can scale the Hydra damage. They are not working with pyromancy attack speed, but the normal attack speed is working and it's uh, capped at 100%. Also, I did not add a attack speed breakpoint chart yet in the guide, but this will follow for Hydra. I have all the footage to let you know exactly um, which attack speed breakpoints um, will be nice for the um, live server. But this will come, don't worry. Now let's take a look at the skills. The first ones are um, not really needed. We are putting obviously potent warding, so we're getting our maximum um, resistances. And we're just putting one point into mana because we do need to get the points to unlock the defensive tree here. Here we're having classic teleport into damage reduction. We are having ice armor into um into mystical ice armor and the reason why we are doing this is this will give us a 1.15 multiplier against the damage of frozen enemies and if you remember we do have the frost nova even though it's not one of our active skills we will have it skilled here so our frost nova will apply the vulnerable with the mystical frost nova right there and then we are also triggering the multiplier right here then the Hydra will scale into the burn because our majority of the damage will be burn damage. It will not be direct damage. Then we are having, we are relying on lucky hit. So we're definitely taking the lucky hit. We need to make sure we have lots of scaling onto barriers. So our barriers are always running. So protection is a must have. Ice plates is what we use to reduce all of our cooldowns to be basically spamming our skills. And here we need the summoned ice plates to be actually applied at cooldown reduction to other skills and not only ice plates. The conjuration mastery, as I mentioned, um, once you have that stacked, it will like it can single-handedly solve all your mana issues just with that mastery a little bit pushed. So it's really strong. 
We are now having um, the damage multipliers here with um, Inner Flames, um, Endless Pyre and Warmth is for our um, our sustain. You can, if you do not need the sustain anymore, you can also switch to Soul Fire for additional damage. Then the Inferno is what we are using to group the enemies. Um, especially the prime inferno here because this moves all the enemies to the center and this allows us to stack our frost nova on Darius visage to stack our um, barrage damage from the materials might and the reckon of damage so this is a key here and we are having multiple sources of um, burning that we can use in that build and we are relying on burning damage so it's better to go combustion over Isos ferocity for example in the Paragon board, we are doing a little trick here by passing through the same board twice to save a couple of points. This allows us to actually um, get three um, legendary notes while still being able to get seven boards total and having one defensive um, cliff for additional damage reduction. So what we are focusing here is the elementalist one. Then um, we do want to have the burning instinct ready because uh, here the critical strike damage is not important, but we are scaling that up to 40% with the intelligence that we are able to stack onto our gear. Then we are having the pyromaniac skill, which gives us a nice scaling. We are having the reinforce for the damage reduction that I mentioned. Then on top right here, we are having the enchantment master making us requiring less cooldown to spend to get more um, to spawn more ice plates and increasing the lucky hit chance onto the frost nova which is really important for us this will be even more important if we're having a fix later then we are having torch for another burning multiplier here um, every time we are casting a defensive skill we are getting 10 percent uh, multiplier we are casting them basically non-stop so this is good here we're having the Elemental Summoner that is pushing all of our Conjuration skills um, in the uh, mana cost and will give us additional damage um, if we are dealing damage with like one of the, those bonuses with fire. And since we are having the fire bonus, we are also having that instantly maxed. And then we are getting the Conjurer. We are also having most of the int here that's like easy reach, be easy reachable taken. This will give us like almost 450% conjuration damage. So this is quite huge here. And then we are having, since we can apply the vulnerable right consistently with the Frost Nova, we are going for the exploit. Now, before we jump into the gameplay, let's talk about some of the issues that are currently making the build not SSS tier, but only playable. And this is the fact that the lucky hit that you can temper for the Hydra is currently a multiplicative stat. So basically, it's increasing the 3% lucky hit of the Hydra by 8%. Basically making a 3 point something and not turning the lucky hit chance of the Hydra into 11%. So I think if they are introducing that temper and the temper percentages are between like 6 and 9%, which they are, there is zero problem by changing that to additive because there is multiple skills like for example, Puncture at the Rogue that has an Ardarius Visage um, synergy and that lucky hit chance, for example, is 50%. So I really hope that they are fixing this. If you may have been wondering why you didn't saw the Hydra enchantment in my build at the moment, is because the Hydra enchantment is currently not benefiting from the extra Hydra heads. So if you're looking at, at the enchantment right here, we will see after spending 200 mana, a five-headed Hydra spawns for five seconds, and we are not able to spawn a 17-headed Hydra, for example. That's just not possible. So I really hope that they are um, also making the extra Hydra heads from the Temper available for this Hydra. Otherwise, this enchantment is not worth it to play, which makes it weird because it's the Hydra enchantment for a Hydra build. Same goes for the Fractured Winter class. The Hydras that are spawned are also unaffected by the extraditional Hydras. Then the build in the current stage um, is not the highest damage output the build can actually do. 
you can actually introduce two more 1.25 damage multipliers. And by doing that, you can remove flame shield once you are tanky enough, once you have the permanent ice armor up duration. And this will then allow you to get another 1.25 damage multiplier. Also, if you have a really high cooldown reduction, you will not rely on the ice plates, um, reducing the cooldown of all of your skills. And then you can remove ice plates and exchange it for, for firebolt. And then you will have another 1.25 damage multiplier. This I already mentioned that pyromancy attack speed is currently not working on Hydras. If this happens to work on the live server, I will test it. Then I will, of course, like always update the guide and some of those tempers here that are doing like Hydra damage as a, as a normal flat stat to add will then go into pyromancy attack speed and that will give a higher DPS overall. And now one thing here, down Darius Resarge tooltip, it is incorrect. In the um, PTR currently it says it deals 100,000 damage. And based on my testing, it's only the tooltip saying that. So um, in the live server, it's like 21,000 damage. And this is also what you have on the PDR. So if this change is actually true and not like a spelling, this build will also scale a lot higher because the damage of the Andariel Visage will then be times five. Yeah, and now let's enjoy some of the gameplay from the PTR. Cheers, guys. One more pack going. Za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta van ting nikun ting nari tumpaya kato sa ke a kato sa ek kontalana weru tasi za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta van ting nikun ting nari tumpaya kato sa ke a kato sa ek kontalana weru tasi za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta van ting nikun ting nari tumpaya kato sa ke a kato sa ek kontalana That 105 was really, really close. 